what's up? It's that weekend warrior. I wanted to circle back on one of my earliest videos where I talked about reproduction boxes. I am a CIB collector. I'm gonna pause real quick on that one because that's a very expensive hobby to have, is collecting in that manner. 90% of my collection in the retro game world when it comes to Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, N64, etc. I've had since my childhood, and so they're all complete in box. I was very fortunate where my parents didn't throw the boxes away, didn't let me ruin the, the manuals or any of, even marketing materials in there. So, like I said, 90%, even back here on the wall, it's all complete in box that I've had for years. Lucky. However, there's games that I rented throughout my childhood or borrowed from friends that I never bought that I wanted to add to the collection. So since starting the channel and going to expos over the last couple years, I've started to acquire um, retro games that I didn't have, but I buy them loose. Why? They're easier to find loose to they're cheaper in that way, unless you're looking for something like a little Samson or that Flintstones game. I mean, there's tons of YouTube videos that talk about those. People who buy things are suckers. But recently, when I went to Really Rad Weekend, if you watch that video, I posted pictures of some of my pickups and there were retro games in there. For display purposes though, I like having boxes. And in the earliest video, here's where I've come back around, I talked about uh, boxmygames.com. And so what I wanted to show you is, so I picked up Radical Rescue, which is Turtles 3 for the Game Boy. And I want it in the box. Let's see if I get this focus. And so here's the box. I mean, it looks just like the original. It's a little bit more saturated. The colors might be a little different, like in the sense of like, it's either a little bit more vibrant due to the extra saturation, maybe a little nice crisp, a little blurry, but still for like, a display purpose and your collector style this works for me so there's that one uh, Chippendales Rescue Rangers again I just bought the carts but I want to put them in these boxes when I put them up on the wall and with my other games Dragon Warrior 2 and this is probably like my favorite find at really rad weekend shout out to retro wolf that he had it and I bought it from him is biker mice from Mars I'm so excited for that cartoon to come back with Nick Cell Company. Um, so yeah, why these in particular? Because they're cardboard. There's many reproduction boxes out there and I'm not sliding. If that's the way you like to catalog, you like to display, whether it's those types or just loose. I like the cardboard. It gives me that feeling of nostalgia with opening the other games. Granted, they're a little more saturated, like I said, a little glossy to the touch. But dimension-wise and look and feel, I mean, let me just kind of bring this in. I mean, look at that. It's all there. I'm not sponsored by them. This isn't an affiliate thing like my stuff with Super 7. I just think they put out great products and I wanted to let other collectors out there know. So if you don't want to have NES games and clamshells and you want that cardboard feeling because I mean boxes I mean go look at price chart and some of the boxes and manuals because are even more expensive than the actual cartridge which is just crazy to me um, great stuff boxmygames.com don't forget that weekend warrior is a super 7 affiliate they make some of the raddest toys and collectibles out there with their Reaction and Ultimates line, as well as some really cool apparel. Make sure you use the code WEEKENDWARRIOR, all one word, at checkout. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button as well as the bell to get notified when I drop new content. And until next time, be good.